Yes! Welcome back! It's Workflow Wednesday. I'm actually doing this. I've been consistent-ish about it, and I want to keep doing it. So, we're talking about something you should be doing in all your photos to not ruin your workflow. I mean, it might be straightforward. You might already know it. If you're not doing it, you have to start doing it now and never look back. We're talking about layer masking. Let's go. All right, let's get into it. As you can see here, I have a picture of one of my friends, Francis. We did a photo shoot a while ago where we wanted to like Photoshop a light ball that's in her hands and turn it into her holding the moon. Very cool looking, awesome concept, and it's pretty straightforward how you want to do it, but again, like I said, you don't want to make any moves in your file that's going to prevent you from going back and adjusting things later on, so we're going to use the layer mask. We've got our photo, we need the moon, straightforward, you find your picture of your moon, boom, throw it on top, everything's looking great. But now, we want to make it look like it's actually in the photo, so we're going to lower the opacity a little bit here. Zoom in and you can see kind of that her fingertips are overlaying and her knee is going to come on top and you can roughly see what we need to eliminate from the photo to make it look spot on perfect. So in the bottom right corner of Photoshop you've got your layer mask button. Hit that button and you'll see right beside the layer you have selected that it's going to add a square. This is your layer mask and all you have to do now is brush away what you don't want to see or use like the selection tools, pen tools to make selections so that you can select what you don't want and then use the brush tool to eliminate it as opposed to using the eraser tool. Using the eraser tool is what you would call destructive and then it doesn't allow you the opportunity to go back and fix things later on in the edit. So what we're gonna do right now is with the, the light ball underneath, we're gonna go around and just trace the moon so that we have what we want selected and then we can invert the selection and get rid of the stuff we don't want. So as you can see at the top here, her nails are kinda like peeking over the ball. So we're just gonna get in there nice and close with our selection tool, wrap around her nails, and for the sake of keeping it quick, I'm not gonna do a perfect job, but. I always, always encourage you guys to do the best job you can. All right, once we've made our selection with the pen tool, we'll right click, make selection, click OK. Here's where we're gonna get into the actual layer mask itself. So, as you can see here, we have the inverse of the ball selected. We're gonna press B to get the brush tool, and because our layer mask is white, using the color black will erase everything away. So we're just gonna use our brush tool over top of the photo, erase away all of that black that was around the moon image originally. And I know I'm saying the word erase, but we're essentially just brushing it away, okay? So now, here's our photo, boom, yeah, she's holding the moon, it looks fantastic. But the beauty of it is, if we were to make a mistake or you know have to fix what we have hidden, you can just disable that layer mask and it comes right back. So enable that layer mask and now you're just seeing the moon. And there you have it. It's something small, it's something quick that's gonna increase the speed of your workflow, but it's gonna grant you that ability to go back in case you make a mistake. Whereas let's say you erased around that moon and then went like 35 layers deep into your edit and now you have to go back to that moon but you erased it, you're gonna have to do that whole part over again. Again, simple example, but there are more complicated instances and I'm telling you guys right now, the eraser tool, that's coming out of your arsenal. That's no longer a weapon in your toolkit. You're changing all of the eraser options out for layer mask options. Every layer you're using should have a layer mask instead of being erased in any way. Start doing that and you'll thank me later. I hope you guys found this Workflow Wednesday helpful, informative, maybe you knew it already, but you're probably just a beauty if you knew it already, and if you didn't, no worries, you learned something new and I hope you use it. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button, comment down below, like I said at the beginning of this video, I think I said at the beginning of this video, make sure you hit me up in the comments, tell me what you guys want to learn. It's like a two-way street here, we're buddies, if you want to learn something specific, I'll be happy to teach you guys, so let me know, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Love ya!